Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a name to one of my cake toppers that has a space for a name. This tutorial is for Cricut Design Space, but if you're using Silhouette Studio, I have filmed a separate tutorial for that and will leave a link to it in the description. Just one thing to note is this method works for all cake toppers that have this space for a name. So the design might change, but the process is still the same. So the first thing I need to do is upload the SVG file. And I come to upload and then upload image, browse, I find the SVG file and then I click open. You can rename the image, but I'm going to leave it as it is and click save. I select the image from the recently uploaded images and click insert images. So now my cake topper is on the canvas and I need to separate the top section from the bottom line. So to do that, I select the image and I right click on my mouse and go to ungroup. Now that has separated my image and I can go ahead and add the text. So from here, I am going to type in my name and I go to the text field and then start typing the name. I'm going to choose Jason because it's just an easy name um, and I'll just place it there and zoom in a little so you can see what I'm doing. Now you can use any font you like. I'm going to use Cricut Sans just because it's selected but a really good font that you could use is Arial Bold. It, it usually looks good with most things and cuts out really well. But again, just for today, I'm going to use Cricut Sans. And so the idea is to make the name big enough that it looks good with the rest of the topper. So I come down here to these two arrows and I'm just going to click and drag until I get a good size. That seems good. I'm just going to move this bottom line out the way. Zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so I need to get this name to just, just touch that top line. See how it's just barely touching? I need to do the same for the bottom line. There we go, just barely touching. I'll zoom out. I'll just make sure that all the characters are on that line, which they are. And I'll just zoom out. And from here, I need to select everything and go to align and then center horizontally. And that will make sure everything is centered perfectly. And then from here, I'm going to go down and click weld and try and move it and everything is perfectly welded. I can go to make it now. So from here, you just go ahead and cut it on your Cricut and everything is joined together. So you'll get one perfectly joined cake topper. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.